Even if you have automatic updates set up in your Microsoft Windows 7 environment, there are times when you should manually go in and check for updates yourself to see if anything important is there that's not automatically coming in. Click on your Start button, click on All Programs, and click on Windows Update. If you don't see a number of updates available shown, or if your computer does not say there are no updates available, click on Check for Updates. Here Windows 7 has found 50 important updates and 46 optional. Click where it says Important Updates and you will see the pre-selected critical updates for Microsoft Windows 7. Now on the left you can switch from Important to Optional and see the optional updates available to you. Now in the Windows 7 group there's 12 optional updates and under Windows 7 language packs there's 34. If you know that you won't need any of these language packs you can click on the first one, scroll down, hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click on the last one. Now you can right click and choose hide updates. These uh, language packs then will no longer show up in your update list. To select the rest of the updates, check the little box to the left of name and all of them will select. As I mentioned, the important ones are already pre-selected so we can click OK on this window and click Install Updates to begin the process of updating. You may see a license agreement appear. Accept the license terms if you wish to continue. Be sure to read through them first and click on Finish. Your computer will start downloading the updates and once the updates are downloaded it will begin installing them. With 60 updates it could be quite some time before it's complete. For that number of updates it might be best to begin the process um, you know, just as you're leaving for lunch or leaving the office for the evening. And that's how we manually run Windows updates in Windows 7.